Pogba, Solskjaer, Raiola. What do you think about it? This debate that's being played out very publicly, how does it end? Well, it'll end with Paul Pogba, I think, leaving Manchester United. Uh, what needs to happen is that the club, to be fair, make a stance on that agent. That agent has messed them around now for years and years with Pogba and with other players as well. And why they allow him, why they allow themselves to be played off him, I'll never know. I mean, he, he, he's a serious thorn in the side for them. And Manchester United just stand strong and say, look, we don't do business with this guy. With this guy and if you're represented by him, we won't deal with you. I mean, he's publicly trying to embarrass the club all the time. At the end of the day, I saw that he's obviously defending his player and sticking up for Paul Pogba. But I don't think what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said was an aggressive move against Paul Pogba. He was saying that he's Manchester United's player. They played 90-odd million for him and they want him to stay at the club and play well. You know, he wasn't claiming ownership of him by any stretch of the imagination. But Rayola wants, to be fair, to create a situation. You know, He wants Pogba out of the club. He wants his next payday off him. He's made millions, tens and tens of millions of pounds off that player. And he'll continue to do so for the rest of his career. He's the golden egg. Uh, for Mina Riola. Gary, thank you for your time. We'll let you go. Thank you. What did you make of that situation? You, you, you didn't seem comfortable when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was being drawn into that in the first place. Well, I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair for any manager when you've had a, a very, very good result and Ole's been under a lot of pressure. Uh, I understand where the media have to come at Ole a little bit and ask the questions, but it's unfair that he's to come out and talk about an agent when he just had a good victory. It's, it's, out, of, it's out of order. I, I, I agree with Gary in terms of the bigger picture. There's been lots of noises coming out of Pogba's camp for a number of months. I think that the, the simple thing I would do is just, just move him on in the summer. Um, not that we don't think Pogba's a good player, he is, but there seems to be too much, too much baggage with him and his agent and just, just move him on and, uh, and again, constantly look at what's right for the team and the club. And I, I, don't, I don't think it's right and it's fair on, on any manager or Ollie to come out and have to do, talk about an agent after such an important victory. It's... It's wrong. Pogba himself can't enjoy this and relish what, what, what's happening here, that he can see, that he can hear. He's not, enj un he can't, not enjoying He can't relish what? that himself when he's sitting, listening to his manager being asked all these questions about what his agent is saying about him. Listen, we've actually spoke today. I was, listen, I was in the hotel last night at Manchester United Stadium and a couple of players, doesn't matter who it was, were last night just around people. Footballers now have an entourage around them. And when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is saying uh, he, he's our player, I, I'm not sure players think like that. I think players actually think they're more connected to their own agents and their entourage around them. And they're almost like their own companies at a club and they're going to move on every two or three years. And I feel that Paul Pogba will think he's a lot closer. And I think almost every player now will feel a lot closer to their own agent than a manager and, and have this thing of, like, I'm playing for Man United. That's Paul Pogba, the company with Paul Pogba, the player, and the agent. I mean, the thought that your agent would be speaking publicly about anything, never mind actually criticising your manager. I mean, you, you can't, I, I can't get my head around it one bit. But as I said, that's, um, we're out of the game you know, a good few years now, and I think the more and more it goes on, these players, their agent's not their agent. He's almost like the father, he's the best mate, he's the golfer. He's the, he makes them a few quid, he, they make money. It's almost like deals themselves. Gary's mentioning millions. It's embarrassing, but managers now, they, they, there's nothing they can do about it. They have to accept it. Really, what Solskjaer wants to do, and what he'll be saying in the dressing room to Michael Carrick or Mike Phelan, he'll be slaughtering that agent, 100%, no doubt about it. And that club have washed their hands of him, because that's why they lost out to Haaland going to Borussia Dortmund. So they have, and that's the problem again. When Haaland's scoring banging goals and now for Dortmund, everyone's saying, oh, man, United have made a mistake. Sometimes you just have to, you know, a line in the sand, that is, don't use this agent. Get Pogba out the club, you're getting that man out the club and you might miss out on the odd play, what you but that's to, what you have yeah, to do. Sorry, dead right, sorry, interrupting you. But sometimes you have to, obviously you have to lose to win. Let him go. I know it might backfire on you, it might backfire on the, uh, Haaland and all that, but if it's not right for the club and people are almost laughing at you, these agents, let these lads go. You've got to lose. Look at the bigger picture constantly. Talk, we talk about a great club like Man United. Don't be chasing after these agents and these players who, I think, the bottom line, don't really want to be at the club. Their agents don't want to, the players don't want to be there. I don't think Pogba wants to be there. Then just shake hands and say, off you go. But the funny thing with Pogba is, it's not like Man United are winning. It's not like Man United are winning the league or the Champions League. You think, oh, we want this player to stay. He's a bit of, he's a, bit of a hassle, he's a bit of a nightmare, the agent, but we're getting something on the other side. Man United have nothing since Pogba got there. So I don't know why they're so reluctant to sort of keep him. I can't believe they kept him last summer. Just get rid he'll of him. He'll go this summer. He'll, he'll go on this summer. 